obviously, we all know you've gone through a lot. Yeah. Part of life. But, well, <laughs> part of the situation, so I say. But, um, yeah, I'm really proud of the steps you're taking today. And I really hope this is a good path for you from now. Helping you in healing and feeling good in yourself and growing in a stronger person. Um, yeah, happy Baptized Day. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Chris, so thank you, Chris. <laughs> So, Freddie, I've known you for a few years now, and you've always been the life of the party. And someone with an amazing heart, I feel like this is your time now. You've been searching for something and was never sure where it was or where to find it, and I believe it was God's plan. I'm so proud of you. I am blessed to call you my best friend, and now I'm privileged to call you my brother in Christ. If I could tell you all how much Freddie has changed these past few years of knowing him, I'd be here for a while. He has had a, bi a big few highlights in his life, but I believe this one will top it. One of my favorite moments of knowing Freddie was him saying hello to the wrong date on television and it going viral. But I know today will be my favorite one, dunking your head underwater. But let's move past that and let me say a few words or a few paragraphs. Freddie, I love you like a brother, but you're sometimes really frustrating, although you're really easy to talk to. I just wish, I just wish you would have listened months ago when you asked to come to the Lord. But I guess it wasn't God's timing, and God's timing has ended up being now, which I'm glad to be a part of this. I know you're searching, and today you have finally found what you're searching for. Please, Freddie, don't look back. The minute you go under that water, you come up a new creation. Your past is dead and buried, and the new Freddie come, comes up a new creation. I believe God has got a plan for you, my brother in Christ, not only for now, but for your future. The other day, I asked God in prayer when I was writing, Yes, I asked the Lord that when I open the Bible and go to my Psalms, that he would choose a Psalm, and this is the page I landed on, and this is the verse my eyes seen first. Thank you, Lord, for this. It is Psalm 37, verse 5 to 6. It says, give yourself to the Lord, trust in him, and he will help you. He will help you. He will make your righteousness shine like the noonday sun. Freddie, take this message, and whenever you feel down or far away from God, read it to yourself, remember your, to yourself. You are worth it, and you matter. You are God's creation. I also want to pray for you, Freddie, so if people would like to pray, too, I would be really grateful. Dear Father God, come here. Come here. Dear Father God, we ask for your goodness and blessings to be poured out on my friend Freddie. We pray that you would work deeply within his heart and soul to renew and refresh him each day. Come guide his footsteps, give him a hope and a vision for the future. May he live a life following your Bible. I also pray, Father God, you show him your ways, and the second that he hits that water, he comes up a new creation and turns from his wicked ways and lives a life following Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.